oh, I wanted to be an accordionist, and I don't still don't feel like a true accordionist. I mean, I feel like I'm a singer who accompanies herself on the accordion. So I don't see that actually the accordion is not mainstream, but for me, in New York, it's mainstream. <laughs> My uh, illuminated accordion, uh, um, it's, uh, it's a Lincordian, it's, it's called a Lincordian because it was made by this artist Paul Etienne Lincoln. It's a nice story actually, it's really a story of kind of a dream coming through. Seven years ago I was performing at somebody's house and he was the owner of uh, it's like a concert hall and, and he, a, f a good friend of his was there at the party and he was an architect. And he said, uh, Nicole, your whole look is great, uh, it's very stylized, but really one thing you have to work on is the accordion, because it looks too heavy, your character is so light, there is such a lightness about it, and your accordion looks so heavy, with the big straps, and my accordion was black. So I thought, yeah, yeah, I should work on it, what could I do? So um, at some point I was spending a lot of time with a friend of mine who is a sculptor, who was working a lot with plexiglass. And at some point I thought, that's what I need, I need a transparent accordion. And I thought, yeah, I would love to you know, play a transparent accordion with even transparent shoes. Because there was a whole lightness ab about it. A week later I was at a party and I ran into Walter Kuhr, who has this very nice accordion shop uh, in New York called Main Squeeze on the Lower East Side. And he was very much into visual things as well. He, he, he likes to play around with the with accordions and, and visuals. And so I told him, Walter, have you ever thought of making a transparent accordion, dreaming of having one? And he said, yes, actually, we're working on it with Paul Lincoln, who I knew already, he was an artist. I said, Nicole, I've solved the problem. I'm gonna make the accordion for you. And uh, the transparent accordion, I'm paying for everything. And in exchange, I would like to p you to be part of my new project and play in my movie. And I thought, wow. Unbelievable. I was like thrilled. I thought this is really a, a dream come through. So he did this uh, film called Undine's Curse. It was part of an installation called Hyperbaric, Hypobaric, about uh, breathing and kind of coming to life in a way. But from the sponge to the birds. It was very um, esoteric. Playing the Lincordian in a grotto in Italy. After the show was done, he uh, took uh, hold his promise and made me my Lincordian. And for, he hadn't put the light in. I knew from the beginning I wanted to have the, the lights in to really enhance on stage, uh, you know, the transparency. I asked my friend who loves, uh, his father is a, an electrician, so he learned all the tricks as a kid and he, he loves to play around with LEDs and stuff like this. And so he helped me. He did the um, uh, lighting of the Lincordian. <laughs> 